There's one major thing that artists and empathic people need to be on the lookout for. And this is something that shows up when we're meeting new people or we're dating, but also something that we can recognize within ourselves. Because whether we like it or not, we're all capable of unconsciously manipulating. Yo, 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 this is your friendly neighborhood knucklehead. And in this video, I wanna talk to you about vulnerability. Vulnerability. No, vulnerability is not a bad thing. Being vulnerable is actually a really good thing and a very authentic thing. But the thing that we need to take warning of is how and when we choose to be vulnerable or other people choose to be vulnerable with us. Vulnerability can be a red flag in two different ways. The first way that vulnerability can be a red flag is if someone is sharing too much too soon. You definitely want to take warning if someone is opening up in a very serious way so early on into meeting them. If you guys don't even know each other that well, something should feel off when someone is sharing something really, really personal. And that's honestly the second way that vulnerability can be a red flag is if something really feels off about it. This can show up in the classic case of somebody trying to appear broken and they need fixing or somebody that's the damsel in distress and they need rescuing. This can also be a really big sign that somebody is a narcissist or a covert narcissist or even the term vulnerable narcissist. I remember I was once dating this girl who opened up to me that she had a very bad history of ex-boyfriends. Her relationship history was just toxic ex after toxic ex, and the last boyfriend she had was really, really abusive. And that kind of triggered me to sort of step up because being an empath and being somebody that wants to help others, we don't want to use people's past against them. But logically thinking, this chick told me this on the second date. And I found out later on that her past of toxic partners was going to be used as an excuse for her toxic behavior later on. Because when people are being vulnerable in order to manipulate, they're disguising the opening up to build trust when what they're actually doing is opening up to see how you react. And sometimes people can do this unconsciously. They don't even know that they're doing it. It's just such a behavior pattern and a personality trait that they're consistently in this victim mindset. They're consistently in this cycle of going from person to person to use as much as they can. But either way, when someone opens up and is vulnerable to us, we have to be thinking, is this person really trying to build trust with us? Or is this person trying to build up a future excuse for them to use us in some kind of way? And really the only two ways to tell if that's happening are number one, the timing of people opening up, the timing of someone being vulnerable. If it's too much too soon, there's probably something off about that. And that's the second way, if something feels off about it. Always trust that feeling when something feels off about this person. Hit me with a comment below if you think there's a bigger red flag within somebody. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to hear more stuff like this. Up here, I'm gonna put this video on three red flags of narcissism. And there are three non-verbal red flags. They're actually three things that you can observe about somebody without even hearing them speak. Speak. And up here, this is a video on adult child syndrome. This is something I break down that we can recognize in other people and also recognize these traits within ourselves because we don't want to hear this, but when we fall victim to manipulative people, it's probably because we have some unresolved traumas that we need to heal. And the more we can be aware of these things, the more we can empower ourselves and the more we can stay creative.